and the film surgeon. Film surgeon. Welcome back to the addict. All people of gender, color, races, sexes, creeds, nationality, pronouns, pronouns, almost forgot the pronouns. We welcome you back to the end. We have another film to dissect. The Prodigy. Coming to us from Michael's Voodoo. <laughs> or Best Buy if you want to go and buy it. Uh, but let's jump right into our film review. We're coming up on it uh, real soon. It's going to be big. Uh, yeah, so everybody needs to make sure that you guys tune in. It's going to be special, kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I, you know, Manny, I want you to go first. You talk about Protégé with us. What did you think? Oh, so Protégé, Protégé, uh, I thought it was a pretty good movie. Uh, it is starring Maggie Q. Uh, if you haven't seen her in a lot of stuff, maybe you've seen Nikita, maybe you've seen some other stuff like that. Uh, we got Samuel L. Jackson in here, Michael Keaton. Uh, we, we got some, you know, we got a decent cast going on here. Uh, so, you know, protege, I, I you know, uh, let's, let's start from the beginning, uh, acting wise, acting, okay. I mean, there was nothing that really stood out to me. I love Maggie Q in this, but anybody else, I was kind of like, eh. You know, Maggie Q was, she was the best part in this. Uh, uh, as, as far as like cinematography, was there anything that just blew my mind cinematography wise? No, uh, not really. Um, you know, some good action sequences in this film. Uh, uh, the story was kind of, the story was the story. I, it wasn't good, wasn't bad. It was, it was better than okay though. It, it's kind of in that middle of okay to good. The story was just meh. Man is what I'll say. It's a man's story. Um, you know, take you know, music. The music wasn't memorable at all. Just going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, set design, nothing crazy there. I mean, this is just a solid film. Uh, it, it's it's going to get a solid B for me. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the ride. I think you'll enjoy the ride of the film. But is it this great juggernaut of a film? No. It just isn't. I think you'll just enjoy it. Um, I think it's something people will enjoy. So for that reason, I'll give it a B, B minus. But it, it's not something that's like super, super great. So, uh, super, super great. Well, I, you know, Michael Keaton, he's he's getting older. And so for him to be inside of this action-y kind of role, it's not like he was... Uh, he was doing his own stunts or, or doing these amazing fight scenes. Even though he did have some fight scenes, it wasn't like super amazing. But he was supposed to be kind of like that right hand man to the the bigger villain. And I think I think when you have a bigger villain, Michael Keaton should not outshine that bigger villain. And he did. The bigger villain really didn't matter to me. Uh, it was more like Michael Keaton. You should have put Michael Keaton inside of that main role. Um, but I do like Anna. What is her name? see Anna Dutton uh, Maggie Q uh, she played Anna Dutton inside of the movie so she she was really good you know to have that female role that's kind of like Hannah uh, if you've seen that and I, that's the only one that kind of comes to mind Atomic Blonde uh, those kind of characters that were kind of really BA that, that were that were really that were like uh, butt kickers. <laughs> they they kicked butt. <laughs> yeah, uh, they have those people that are butt kickers. Uh, yeah, I, I think that she did well. Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, he can't do any wrong inside of any character that he plays. However, when I look at the whole movie overall, it wasn't um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was your typical kind of action movie, something that you can literally just sit there watch and kind of enjoy that first time through uh the action was not something that stood out the cinematography wasn't something that stood out um the music wasn't something that stood out like i said it was just a, a standard kind of um action movie uh in terms of story at times it was confusing and complex they did uh 
you know, wrap up a couple of those loose ends towards the end of the movie. Um, I hate to kind of give it that average grade, but I'm going to give it a high average grade and I'm going to go with the C plus. I think that uh, it was watchable and entertaining, but still at an average kind of um, standpoint. And I think that other things could have brought it up to a B and a significant amount of things could have brought it up to A. So that's why I kind of put it in that average uh, grouping. Uh, it's not to say that it was bad. Average is, is not something that anybody should think, oh, we're down in it or it's not good or it's not worth the watch. I think that people would enjoy watching it. If you like action movies, if you like Samuel L. Jackson, if you like some of the movies that I named like Atomic Blonde and Hannah, I think that you will enjoy this or Black Widow for that matter. You will enjoy this movie. Uh, it does have some comedic parts uh, here and there, but it's more like an action-y dramatic film that I think all audiences, except for kids, will enjoy. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, kids don't, yeah, kids. don't, don't watch this, okay? There are yes. some bad things in there for you. Yes, well, I go, uh, uh, yes, no children, please, no children. Uh, I, I agree, I, I mean, I don't want to give this an average grade, that's why I gave it the kind of the B minus, the kind of tug, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like it's it, it's okay, but you know, I, I can understand C plus, even a C from some people. I I, I get it, I understand it. Uh, oh, but one hundredth episode, kids! It's gonna be a big party, big party, Woo! and you are all invited. Yes, you are. We're gonna have balloons and clowns and, and noisemakers. Not, not too loud, though. Not too loud. We don't... Michael, we don't Michael, upset. we don't need clouds. We have you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was, was going to say, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And look forward. Put it on your calendars. Episode 100 is going to be a blast, kids. Yes. Uh, did you have anything to add there, Manny? No. I just want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching the show. We appreciate you. Yes, we do. And join us next week for another exciting episode of... Uh, another exciting episode of... Filmatic. Feel that. <laughs>